If you want to test some settings, features, or applications in Windows 11, and you don't want to affect your Windows 11 PC, there's a very easy way to do this without affecting your Windows 11 PC. And this is using Windows 11 in a virtual machine in Hyper-V. Now, you might think that this will take time to set up, but in this video, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to create a Windows 11 virtual machine on your Windows 11 PC with a couple of clicks only. So what I'm gonna cover in this video is first how to enable Hyper-V on your Windows 11 PC, and then I'm gonna show you how to create the Windows 11 virtual machine. I'm gonna talk about some settings that you need to make so to have an optimal experience using this Windows 11 virtual machine, and I'm gonna talk also about the licensing and the disk space. So let me start first by showing you how to enable Hyper-V on your Windows 11 PC. The requirements to enable Hyper-V on your Windows PC is that you have Windows 11 Pro, Enterprise, or Education. Hyper-V is not available on Windows 11 Home. So let me switch to screen recording to show you how to enable it. So in Windows 11, open the settings application by pressing Windows I on your keyboard, and then click on System. Under System, scroll to the bottom, and then click on Optional Features. Under optional features, also scroll to the bottom and then click more Windows features. You'll have this dialog box. Approximately in the middle of the dialog box, you have something called Hyper-V. Check it and then click on OK. Now wait for the changes to apply. Windows now installed Hyper-V. We need to restart the PC as it says here. So I'm going to restart the PC and then come back when the PC restarts. Now the PC restarted. What we need to do now is to start Hyper-V Manager to quickly create the Windows 11 virtual machine. So click in the search box and then type in Hyper and you're going to find Hyper-V Manager. Click on it and it will open. So in Hyper-V Manager, it will select automatically your PC. All you have to do here to create the Windows 11 virtual machine is click on Quick Create. And then Hyper-V will show you the possible operating systems that you can quickly create with this method. So I'm going to select Windows 11 Dev Environment. And you notice on the bottom right corner, you have something called More Options. I'm going to show you what it shows. So we don't need to change anything here. So when you click on it, it will show you the name of the virtual machine in case you want to change it and the default network that it will assign to this virtual machine. So here it took the default switch. There is no other option. So here, just before I click on create virtual machine, I wanted to tell you that you need at least 70 gigabytes of empty space on your drive because the download of Windows 11 will take 21 gigabytes and Windows will keep it for future users. I'm going to show you later in the video how to delete it in case you don't need it anymore. And when it will create the virtual machine, it needs approximately 44 gigabytes to create it. So here I have this empty space. I'm going to click on create virtual machine. And here Hyper-V starts downloading the Windows 11 development environment. And it is, as you see here, 21.37 gigabytes. So I'm going to fast forward the video up until the download finishes. After the download finishes, the next step is that it will automatically verify the image as it is doing here. Give it a minute to finish. And now it is extracting the disk from the image that we just downloaded automatically. Here it will take some time. Also be patient and give it a minute to finish. So now the extraction finished and the virtual machine was created. Now we need to adjust some settings so that we have an optimal experience using this virtual machine. So click on edit settings. And in the settings here, we need to check two things. The first thing is the number of processors. And the second thing is the memory that was allocated to this virtual machine. So let's click first on the memory. So here you saw that it gave it by default 4 gigabytes of RAM only. So my PC has 64 gigabytes of RAM. I can give it much more than 4 gigabytes. Of course, here it depends on what amount of RAM you have on your host machine. Do not give it more than 40% of the RAM that you have. So for instance, if you have 16 gigabytes RAM on your host machine, 4 gigabytes is very good. Me, I'm going to give it here 16 gigabytes. So I'm going to select this number and then I'm going to key in 16,384, which amounts to 16 gigabytes. The second thing that we need to see is the processors. So here it gave it 12 processors and this is very good for me. Do not give it less than four CPUs and then click on OK. And this is all we need to do. Now click on connect. 
and this will connect you to the virtual machine so the virtual machine is not started yet click here on start and it will start so let me put it full screen give it a moment to finish setting up the virtual machine here for the first login and here it will ask you again after it prepares a virtual machine how you want to connect to it so here i advise you to click on show options and then click on save my settings for future connections keep it as it is here and then click on connect it will connect once again to the virtual machine and here's the virtual machine let me maximize it once again and then you notice that here it created a user called user it doesn't have a password so click on sign in and also give it a minute here to finish so this is windows 11 now it will take a little bit of time so that it goes full screen completely so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna minimize it here like this and then put it once again into maximize mode and now it took all the screen now the next thing i want to show you is the licensing for this virtual machine so by default this virtual machine is installed as enterprise edition with an evaluation license that will last 90 days so here on the bottom right corner you see it says it will last 90 days you can extend the evaluation period three times 90 days so three times 90 will amount to 270 days plus 90 it will give you like a full year of operation i'm gonna show you how to do this so you need to open a command prompt of course after the 90 days expires do not do it before because you can only extend it three times so open an elevated command prompt let's click in the search menu here and then type in cmd right click command prompt and then choose run as administrator and then click yes and here in the command prompt you need to key in this command slmgr and then slash rearm and then press enter and this is how you can extend the evaluation period by another 90 days so now that you know how to create the virtual machine i wanted also to tell you that if you want to create other virtual machines the same way windows 11 virtual machines and you select quick create it will create one from the file that was downloaded because it puts it in a hidden folder now if you don't want to create other virtual machines and you need the 21.3 gigabytes of space that the temporary file is taken I'm gonna show you where it is hidden so that you can get rid of it so let me go back to screen recording so to do this on your host pc click in the search box and type percent local app data percent backslash temp and hit enter and here it will open the hidden folder where it saved the downloaded file and it is in the zip file so you see it is here so here it is safe to delete it if you don't want it anymore so i'm gonna delete it here and now you reclaimed the space i want to thank you all for watching and i hope that my video was useful to you in case it was please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and this will support the channel i'm eloy from knowledge sharing tech see you in the next video